Oh, hi. I would like to take a little bit to talk to you guys about problems. Generally speaking, uh, a performer, an artist of some kind, doesn't really like you to see the problems. I don't really want to show you the problems, but um, as is, uh, this is a process diary, so we we're gonna we're gonna examine the problems. This piece, it's got problems. I was so excited about this piece. This was one that whenever I thought about the story of uh, Lib, uh, of the bad guy Lib, uh, it was always this scene, the idea of slaying the high priest, the wicked high priest in the secret pass. So um, I've been very excited to work on it. This is my second um, attempt at it, and it's, again, got problems. In the first attempt, uh, the drawing was a bit off. Uh, Lib wasn't quite large enough. Uh, I found that if the high priest was to stand up, uh, he would be taller than Lib, and Lib's supposed to be the biggest man among the Jaredites. So, I had to re... and I'd already put paint on it and stuff, so I... it was painful, but I redid it. Lesson to you other artists out there, young artists. Uh, it, there's times when fixing it is not an issue, and don't let it go out. Um, don't let it go out when it's when it's not good. So this was important, and so I restarted it again. Um, but as I'm beginning to lay out my initial idea of where the lighting should come from, uh, it's not working. Problems. Um, the main problem is the color scheme. Uh, I was going to go with cooler uh, colors on this side and with hot highlights on this side just because I thought it would be more interesting, but the whole background, the whole cave in Secret Pass, um, uh, it needs to be... My very original thought for this piece was to have a white background with no particular setting and that he would be coming out of that bright light and, and acting as this silhouette. And you can see that if you look back on the blog um, and the, the actual photo reference. Then I thought, well, hey, after my trip to Mexico, I saw this neat thing, and I thought, well, hey, how about if we put these tunnel indications in here, and uh, that could be cool, and I think it is, but I lost my initial, the power of having this really light background, plus some of the renderings getting a little stiff and a little tight. So, um, that was a long introduction, but uh, let's dig in and, and see if we can't fix this a little bit. And so we begin. I'm putting on a mixture of white and cadmium orange and a little raw sienna, maybe a little yellow. And in covering in the background opaquely, I will be rubbing out sections uh, of this paint to give me those same tunnel shapes. But it will just take a lot of the attention, uh, a lot of the, the shape and detail off the background and really help to focus uh, the attention on the foreground, which is what's most important. So now let's start in on the figure. This character is supposed to be a large and intimidating and frightening, and on the whole I wanted his, pretty much his whole frame to be in silhouette. He's an assassin, he should look scary, uh, Just, but I didn't want his pose necessarily to look scary. 
I wanted his presence uh, and, and sheer size. His body, as I'd begun to develop it and try to keep some of the tones cool, ended up being a bit too gray. So I'm going back into the highlight and transition areas, the transitions from highlight to shadow, and uh, warming up some of that information and uh, finishing up the figure. So I continue to work to finish the figures and uh, warm up the background a little bit, warm up the skin tones, and our final effect looks like this. I'm really glad, even though it was painful, really glad that I went back in and uh, redid this painting, and in particular redid the background. Uh, it makes a big, big difference. So I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Oh